Hey guys, it's the Tin Man here. I'm just enjoying my lunch and leaving a little bit of extra lunch for them. Some hot chili that I don't eat from the hot chili tuna. And that's a pepper lemon tuna. And I let them know that it was a fish. No, that's not for them. Those, a couple of them will be for them. One more. Yes, I'm prepared for my garbage. I'm sitting here. I came out here. And this is part of where I've talked with you guys earlier. I was sitting out in my car and then I decided, oh, I'm going to go back into that place and hang out there and have my lunch there. So at first, I went and checked out over there for my lunch spot. I was going to do it down in there, I think. And then I decided, uh, no, I wanted to do it standing. So then I came over here, too noisy, right beside the water there. So then I came over here and I came walking through here. Okay. And earlier, I also stood at that log, because I kind of thought about climbing on it, but I didn't. And then I came walking through somewhere here, I don't know where, but I came to this stuff, and I'm pretty sure I walked in between these two when I continued walking over this way. That's what I'm kind of remembering that I did. Maybe I have it on video. So the hot spot for the topic is that guy right there. In the middle where you can see it a little bit more sandy. That's where I actually pinched some up to give a feel on those ridges. Those ridges are quite high. You can see the edge of them. And if you compare them to my shoes... Well, there we go. Let me back off a bit. They're nothing like that. You see that uh, pattern back there? compared to this pattern and that's an edge of the shoe and everything but the ridges all run together and there's no separation I got big dividers and stuff I'm sure you get it and you know this only this in part brings back some memory of having come across tight textures that were quite confusing and that I almost felt were I don't know, inspired by a shoe, but not necessarily fully a shoe, not necessarily mimicked. I was quite confused by them, so we have to prepare, be prepared for that pretty good. I'll come over and take a closer look at it. These water shoes, I love them to some extent for shirt, shirt walking because um, you feel so comfortable and your feet dry off in no time. They're six dollars at Walmart and you do have a little flat there if you want to make sure they're not going to fall off. So like I said, I came in at the... So you can see it's only that wide. Oops. It's only that wide, so it's only from here to here by the looking of it. You see all this? And then here. And then here. It doesn't really give much of an impression of a shoe. Fair enough. And then the heel is here. Got the sun's coming out a bit, so let's see it with the sun on it. Coming on that angle of it, I'm just gonna keep my camera this way. Okay, let's just do a zoom in on that uh, heel part. So if that sat for overnight or a couple of days, that's quite the You know, pretty preserved. And if it's a, f a typical woman's foot, and that's a interesting kind of sole design. It is above the water level a little bit because we got to think about the natural water coming in from 
there. If we look right here, you can see the water's right there. 